ready to go Just give me the mic and I'm ready to roll That real hip-hop like you already know Hey, welcome to another Coach Johnny video, episode 44 on reading threats Or being situationally aware Being aware of everyone on the ice is important because you try and predict plays So you have a better anticipation of offensive threats This will lead to smarter and easier saves, better rebound control, or better puck handling decisions Keys to this is to look around, communicate, and know where your net is. If you do these things, it'll make a lot of your life easier. So in order to have good situational awareness, we want to look around lots. You can see me All looking here up into the slot net and then communicating about the play to my defense. Now there's a couple key things I'm doing here. So let's quickly rewind this play and take a look at it again. So as the puck goes behind the net, I'm following it. And as soon as this guy gets it and moves into a none shooting position, I take that opportunity to take a look around. That's how I spot the guy on the back door. I then know to communicate to my defenseman to watch the back door and he picks this guy up. So the rule of thumb we're establishing here is when that puck is moved to a non threatening position, i.e. the player can't shoot it or pass it to someone that is in a high scoring chance, I can use that moment to quickly look around and identify the threats. Back door, back door. These brief glimpses give me the awareness to direct my own team or to know where the likely threat is and where I'm going to have to move, allowing me to be ahead of the play in a sense. We are even doing this type of thing on these entrance plays. We're watching where the guys are as they cross the red line to know where we have to go. So let's watch that play again. You can see it's a 3 on 2 developing and my center picks up their late guy or F3. So my only possible threat is the shooter on the left wing or my back door play on the right wing or which is going to eventually become slot. So I set up for the slide and I know where my threats are which gives me a high percentage chance of making the save. Thankfully, he misses the net. This play puts all the pieces together. My defense checks him. I have a quick look around. I identify three players coming down. Second player gets the puck, sets up, screens there, but I know there's another guy. When he makes the pass, I'm already queued up on where I generally have to go, and I make the save. But only by checking when I have those chances, when the other team cannot shoot, can I make these type of reads and plays. The final place you really want to pay attention to is face-offs. There's lots of time leading up to a face-off and I'm checking where guys are lining up, which hand they are, are they going to be shooting, are they in a shooting position, is the team lining up for a draw back to the point in that. I'm also kind of looking at my players to know who's where, so I know where everything's going to go. I know it doesn't seem normal, but it's a great chance to know whether a guy can shoot high or low, left or right by their hand in that. It really pays off, especially on the power play, when you want to key up when someone like Ovechkin or McDavid type players are on the ice. You really want to be aware. Alright, so in summary, we're going to look around, read the play better, know what type of shots can come, and where on the ice. You look around when it's safe to do so, when there's no threat of a direct shot or pass, or a pass to a high scoring area or player. So we're looking for the player handling the puck straight on in front of them or being engaged by our players or being with their back to the net. By doing these things, we allow ourselves to make better save selections and be prepared to move in the direction we want to. We can implement better rebound control by controlling where we're going to put the puck. We can even make smarter plays, whether it be stick handling and passing or making little aggressive plays like a little spin poke check or a little stick check thanks for watching another coach johnny video hope you found this useful interesting and enjoyable we'll see you in the next video Yeah, keep it real.